Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's the Pop Tart Lee. Um, and this video is one of those things where, it's two of those things where I try and avoid them like the plague. It is, that sounds really bad. I, I've chose to do it, nobody forced me to do it. It's a box battle with Tiny Tim himself. It's Christmas time. Ali over at Stormcore Collectibles. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Side hero, he messaged me, said he's seen these glass shelf collectible boxes. Oh, that's where it's from, by the way. Glass shelf collectibles. Uh, you want to do a box battle? I thought, you know what? I was looking at their Black Friday sale, fantastic sale. Hopefully, it's still on at the time of the release of this video. I'll put a link to glass shelf collectibles in the description to this. And also, if you head over to Jimmy Barnes's channel, he has a affiliate code that you can use. I don't know if you can use it on the sale stuff, but you might see other stuff. I digress, I'm going on. Um, so I wanted to pick up a couple of other little bits, um, which I'll show you because I opened these separately. I picked up a, another key ring. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but I will do off camera stuff as well. My eldest is gonna help me out with some bits, bits and bobs. And I also picked up one of these. Never picked up one of these before. One of these Funkoverse games. So this is the Jurassic Park one. Um, I don't even know if we'll even play it, but I'll, I've tried before to try and fill up my Jurassic Park collection pop seems to be going more and more expensive tell me if i'm wrong but i'm trying to find an angle i'll put a picture up anyway is this the only time that ray arnold so samuel l jackson's character has been in any form of pop form but either way pick one of these up um i can see me picking up a few more of these i know there's a back to the future one as well just to get the kind of the like the mini characters i think they look really really cool anyway that's not what this video is about this is a battle um at this point, if I was in the Deacon household, there'd be some weird punching action, microphones. And I don't really know what a box battle is. What is the point of it? <laughs> We've not set any sort of... I'm trying to think of the word now. Uh, da, da, da. Forfeit. <laughs> any sort of forfeit. I told you, I'm medicated. Bear with me. So anyway, this has come from Glass Shelf Collectibles. Three pops should be in here, damaged. I'm already predicting Chrome. I'm predicting Fortnite. I'm, <laughs> I'm predicting not the best. But the thing with this one is, uh, now I'm up in the loft. Obviously a lot of people come up and sit where if they come to the house, they see the collection. And I thought, well, you know, worst case scenario, I'm gonna have a few pops that if some of the kids come around, the nephews or something, I can always just say, well, do you want one there? give them a pop but we're going to do this on I believe we're doing the old TPD value which I don't have access to so I'll have to get that as well this is going great and I don't do these battles I don't do this I don't do that and then he's doing the whole shebang it's content I need to do content because <laughs> um, if you watch this channel if you've just stumbled across this kind of channel um, obviously I'm aiming if I can to try and hit that 500 subscriber total I'm up to 480 as I'm filming this so I'm kind of piecing some bits towards maybe getting a giveaway going for 500. That'd be a massive, massive target for this channel. And I'm looking now, and I've done four minutes and I've not even shown a pop. That is not how I do my videos. I'm normally done by now and <laughs> getting ready to edit. So I'll try and look at these as you get to see them. Um, I don't know if there is, to be fair, there's packaging, even though these are damaged. So we'll throw that to one side. I always, always feel weird doing the off camera try not to look kind of thing. Oh, they're actually popping bubble wrap, so let's just see what we can do here. So I'm not looking, I'm not looking, and you, the first one is, look at the centre of your face. Here we go, the first one is, oh, oh, you know what? It's not one I collect, but I think somebody probably would. It is Infinity Warps, it's Soldier Supreme, it's an Amazon exclusive, so it's stickered. I can't see any damage on that whatsoever. I might be wrong. The slightest little kind of dink there on the top. Um, but you know what, I don't think that's a bad start at all. At all, I mean, is it, could it be that the pop's actually broken? I don't know, I mean, I'm gonna, like I said, I'll get the pops as I already, I'll probably be in the corner now. Looking down as he's spinning away, but got in the dark as well, this is, I don't know, this is quite a good start, I think. So, um, I'll put the TPD value on the screen as well, because I will get that from 
somewhere. But that is the first one. And like I said, oh, did I mention the price? These were three, four, twelve pound fifty. So four pounds. Well, you can't mathematically. It's a mathematical thing. Four pound seventeen, roughly a pop. Why did I need to break it down to four pound seventeen? Why am I still talking? Let's get on to the next one. So that one, I would say, is a great start. I nearly collected this line as well. So I'd have been really... I still might even keep this. I'm going to have a look. We'll see what the guy was like. Ah, there's the damage. It's really, really, really slight at the back there. So it is this corner here that's kind of gone a little bit warped. But cool, blimey. <laughs> cool, blimey, governor. If they're classing that as damaged, well, here we go. Let's get into the second one. So no Fortnite yet. That would be a big shot. Second one is Spider-Man. This is, you know what, this is going all right. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I actually had a stage where I thumbed up quite a few of these on Pop in the Box. This is the Crimson Cow suit. I have got a number of nephews who love the Spider-Man game. I also enjoyed this game myself. Um, not the Miles Morales one, but the Spider-Man one. And the pose on that looks really, really good. Again, damage. Why, what are we calling damage here? I do not know. I do not know. But you know what? That, again, I can't imagine there's much... Uh, there might be... I'm going to say water damage. Just on the front of that bit of box. Now, this is really hard to show you because as I'm sitting here now, the loft hatch is just here. This is the best angle I could get where I can sit in my chair. Normally, I will film from around the floor and I hit no <laughs> that's not happening but yeah number 770 you know what again I'm happy with this these are both pops that if these end up on my shelves I'd be no issue at all with them at all with them at all <laughs> for flip's sake there we go let's go with the last one the last one is oh okay M from James Bond 007 so not a line I'm going to get into it's M from Goldeneye this one so I don't know that this one will have a massive amount of value to it damage wise I can see the damage straight away on this one this is on the back there I'm sure there's James Bond fans out there somebody who might want that in their collection um, yeah probably I'm going to say the worst out of the three but you know what Hot Bond's quite current at the moment Number 800. Yeah, it's not too bad. If that one interests you, by all means, reach out to me. I'm only going to be asking pretty much postage and a couple of pounds or a trade or something like that. If, you, if you're into the Bond ones, you can have that one. Saying that, I'm saying that. I could keep that too if I'm going to do a giveaway. Scrap that. You can't have it. <laughs> it might go into the 500 giveaway. That hasn't even started. So there you go. They're the three. Um, so, Soldier Supreme. Amazon exclusive sticker, glow in the dark, Miles Morales crimson suit, and then the final one is M from Goldeneye. Yeah. Really like the song from Goldeneye. Was it T Tina Turner? I just got to throw that in there. So there's the battle. Um, head over to Stormcore's channel. Link to him will be in the description to this video. And let's see what tiny dancer got in his box. And until the next one, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, usual YouTube gubbins. And I will see you in my next video.